let's begin the session sql statements sir we have different types of statements available like dml ddl transaction control dcl but in this session we are going to discussing about dcl only dcl means what sir data control language so we are going to controlling on particular data hope you clear this words okay okay sir fine sir sir we have some special commands like revoke grant right so what is mean by here revoke grant okay see we are going to giving some special privileges on particular user on particular objects here objects means for the table right some special privileges here also we can say like uh, like insert update delete these are all privileges and we are going to giving some special access rights okay we are going to giving some special access rights special permission to particular users we are going to giving some privileges as well as some special permission to particular user we are going to giving some special permission to particular user here giving means what sir grant okay and we are going to revoking some privileges just now we discussed right privileges means here what uh, like uh, in practically we are going to giving insert update delete this and all comes to under privileges removing we are going to removing so we are going to removing some access right from particular user on particular table right revoke and grant comes to under data control language okay keep remember these points it's like rgv okay famous director okay fine sir but for remembering purpose i'm just telling like this see revoke and grant it's coming on data control language okay just removing this v fine sir i hope you you practice very well in the previous sessions so you are practiced well on sql developer software okay in the similar way we are going to using now uh, data grip id okay from its vendor of what jet brains it's from jet brains vendor okay so at the very first time uh, i'm going to creating what's a one uh, user observe carefully sir i'm going to connecting sysas is dba okay fine first i'm going to alter session what you have to do alter session after that one you need to do what set like this set underscore oracle underscore script okay insert inverted quotations we are going to giving like this okay equals to true fine sir session is created session is altered see session is altered superb sir now i am going to creating from the user create user hit movie 
hit okay hit username is what sir hit identified otherwise hit movie okay hit movie identified by password like hit okay created user superb now what i have to do grant going to giving some sessions right i'm going to uh, permission giving to this particular user right like create session giving permissions to this user hit movie okay create session to hit movie and with semicolon yes grant succeeded now i am going to uh, connecting connect username is what sir hit movie password is just now we created yes just connected superb sir fine now this username only i'm going to uh, establishing connection right means just configuring all those things see just click on this database symbol database explorer after that one you will see this place symbol click on new data says data source oracle oracle uh, you need to give what sir what name just now we created it hit movie user right just give user user name what sir hit movie and password just now we just created it hit okay i'm just selecting one of the color yellow color i'm going to selecting it's up to you otherwise the orange i'm going to selecting hit movie user test connection let's check yes succeeded if you are able to see something succeeded then it's fine but if you are not able to see succeeded and some of the jars dependency is still required means just click on that particular uh, uh, alert then it will downloaded respective jars okay and it will solve your problem okay at the very first time some people will get like that okay fine superb sir just click on apply you can observe left side and click on okay see this is what sir just now we just created one of the user right so we just establish connection inside this uh, oracle it's not oracle right like similarly we just created it previously oracle sql developer like that we just created uh, inside this data grip id okay so if you expand this one there is no tables okay fine but previously we just created it one of the table in developer user so we are going to again establish connection okay go into data source oracle oracle and i'm going to choosing here like developer user and giving like uh, green color okay and i'm going to giving here username as developer password i given previously whatever i given that i am giving here okay now test connection yes succeeded click on apply click on okay you can observe it's green color you can observe this is hit movie user is orange color light orange color this developer user is light green color okay observe sir carefully observe okay we are going to 
uh, writing some queries grant revoke okay observe carefully see developer user having one table that is what sir actress see once i clicked on this actress table it will show data like actress position actress name industry actress name is trisha tollywood okay fine sir position is one number one position okay sir fine superb sir now observe but i want access this table from this hit movie user okay i want access this table name from this hit movie user whether it is possible or not now it's not possible because of i'm not given any privileges to that particular object particular table on particular table i'm not given any privileges i'm not given any grant permission i'm not given right for easy understanding purpose i am giving some of the words to you okay here grant means giving some access rights to specific user right whether i, I was given previously or not i am not given so if you observe select star from see this is schema name is what sir schema name is what developer dot actress see here end with semicolon is optional uh, whenever you are going to executing single command i am going to removing okay just uh, put cursor on particular line and hit on your keyboard control enter okay see table or view does not exist see table or view does not exist or a 00942 okay we are getting some error right but if i give access to particular user that means if i give some privileges to particular user on particular object on particular table object means here table okay i'm giving to some grant some access rights to particular user and particular object okay right then you will get easily access okay like how this developer user going to fetching data from particular table right similarly you are going to getting on particular table you are going to getting right what i will do see observe see this is what sir console right console we are going to writing some of the commands right just click on this one right default query console yes this is the default query console so what i will do here i'm going to writing some command grant okay i'm going to giving select okay select on uh this is developer user right anyway i can write we are at in developer user only developer schema only okay developer dot actress right to particular user what sir here hit movie hit movie okay if you want execute here also you can execute select this one you can execute here this run run button okay yes you can observe grand select on developer dot actress to hit movie is completed in 14 milliseconds okay sir you can observe right symbol okay left side here right symbol green color is absolutely fine sir now you can go back to hit movie user because of just now we given some privileges right some privileges means here select privilege we given select insert update delete like that we have privileges we are given 
some special access rights for particular user here user means here what's our hit movie okay hit movie user on special rights we are given right on which object actress object right super your actress object means what sir table okay assume fine you can come back to here again you can hit this one yes we are able to see now observe previously we are not able to see but here after given some permissions after given some permissions we are able to see this is what's a controlling controlling on data right dc language right we just uh, described example right for grant right grant is completed one of example we just uh, looked on practically on this grant fine right superb sir now what i will do i will revoke observe sir console right i will revoke revoke select on same thing sir developer dot actress copy developer dot actress copy and what you have to do from hit movie right if you are using multiple lines you need to end with semicolon okay otherwise it will confuse okay fine you need to select otherwise you need to select proper command after that one you need to hit like this okay fine see i'm going to revoke on this particular user right just click on hit yes revoke is completed selecting is completed select privileges right superb sir i'm going to coming to again to hit movie user now it it will not show it won't show see observe select this one execute it see table or view does not exist this is previous one okay now again execute it see okay table or view does not exist superb because of we just revoke we just remove to privileges what sir select command here select is removed okay fine sir we just given access right we just removed revoke means here what sir removed right superb sir excellent sir right now see observe i'm going to giving select insert otherwise delete i will give you okay it's up to you delete select delete okay i'm giving again permissions yes is executed now if you go to here again if you hit see we are getting we are fetching data from table right see trisha tollywood right so this concept we can say what sir revoke and grant right revoke and grant is a data control language sir always remember grant means giving permission to particular user on particular user we are going to giving some permission some special access right we are going to giving right some privileges like insert update delete these and all privileges okay we are going to giving revoke means here what we are going to removing we are going to removing right 
like some privileges select update delete all those things what's up privileges these privileges we are going to some special access rates we are going to removing right we are going to some special permissions we are going to removing these are and all controlling on particular data that's why they were given data control language yes clear right fine right so if you want delete you can delete okay suppose i want to uh, insert some query insert uh, some data see it won't give you see insert insert into uh, developer dot actress values okay insert into uh, insert into developer is a schema and actress is a table okay values and here actress position is 2 uh, i will give you like tamanna and she is belongs to tollywood okay fine now observe carefully sir it is not going to insert see insufficient privileges because you are not given insert privilege right see i'm going to giving again here some insert privilege okay insert okay again i'm going to executing yes it's executed again come back to here again you can execute this command yes if you observe see insert into developer dot actress values yes this query is affected one row see superb sir now we are going to fetching again select this one execute it row is inserted see actress position 2 tamanna tollywood 